Hey guys, Evelyn here on Ryan Cakes. Okay, so today I'm going to show you guys this uh, little edit you see in front of you. Yeah. It's very simple, I think. Um, it didn't take me the long to get to do it. Um, but yeah, you're going to need uh, one um, plugin and you're going to need new blue effects plugins for this. If you don't have it, you can still do it without it. Um, and I haven't figured out how to do it without it, but if you don't have it, it's fine. But I'm going to show you guys how I did it. So you can have your project open. As you can see, mine's already open here in my um, Sunny Vegas. But I'm going to show you guys how I got here. So you're going to need a media clip. So I'm going to go ahead and just drag in my Orange Marmalade um, episode 1 here. And I already have like little presets of where I had cut them out. Um, so I did is I cut out so where she, um, she kind of freaked out a bit from she was dreaming if you haven't seen the drama um it's okay but i'm just gonna go ahead and do it from right at the scene here so i'm just gonna press s on my keyboard display i'm gonna delete this and then i'm going to go into where the boy looks at her she looks after she wakes up but we're just gonna go from the boy um here I'm going to press S here and S here. Just to split those scenes, I'm going to delete the remainders. I'm going to mute his audio just by dragging down the slider. And then we're just going to go ahead and just drag those over. So I'm just going to drag him close to this one here. I'm going to have his above hers a little bit more because we're going to have his um, scene blend into hers without having it. So I'm going to drag his audio on another layer so I could just delete it fully. Um, so, right when her clip ships into the man here, we're going to have his clip appear so that we don't have any um, interruptions because it's just going to be her and him. And then the audio, I have my earphones in so you won't be able to hear it, but I'm going to fade in the audio like so. And this doesn't really matter, I'm just showing you guys how I'm editing it. I'm going to right click on this little line here and just click this one here so that it fades out to nothing. I'm going to drag the audio down halfway and then I'm just going to fade it in as well. The audio as well. Like so. And then we have him here. And I'm going to turn off my colorings because I forgot I have my colorings on. So I'm just going to exit it out of all my coloring. Because you're going to want to screen cap his image to um, do a cutout of him. So I'm just going to go ahead and just exit out all of this coloring like so and then we're just going to want to take a piece of his screen oh just you can just pick any scene you want you want to make sure your preview is on best and full and just choose a scene you want you can choose from like the, the beginning or one of the ends I'm just going to do one that looks clear I'm going to press this here and I'm just going to save it there I'm just going to save it image 9 because we're going to use that one as well we're going to drag image 9 down here and we're going to want to duplicate it so you just right click copy and down here on the empty um, space here right click paste and it doesn't have to be too long so we're just going to make it like maybe a few seconds maybe seven or we'll just do right here just right click trim end right click trim end where that indicator is on this bottom one here I'm going to hide I'm just to show the opacity down. The bottom one here, you want to add a newspaper effect. So we're going to go down here into our video effects. We're going to scroll in between. You can say newsprint. You're going to kind of grab default, drag it to the bottom where it affects this one here. You want to drag it up so you can have the print. So however you see fit, and you want to have it on monochrome so it's black and white. And then we're going to go, after you're done, you just exit out. We're going to go up to gradient map which is right here and you want to drag anything you can drag reset to none or a preset in we'll do reset to none we're going to have we're going to bring our number one over here choose a color of our liking so make sure that the transparent at full color like so and we're just probably going to do black here so we're just going to drag it to black Like so, and then two, we're going to bring up, make sure it's full color. Then you can choose the color of your liking. I'm going to do maybe peach tone there. Now we can drag this up. And we want to cut it out. So you're going to go to pan crop. 
You want to drag it out to your best ability. Zoom in to where you can cut it out without having any glitches. If it has a little glitch, uh, like a little bit of the background, it's not that big of a deal. You want to make sure to click on mask, tick that, and then make sure you have your pencil. And if you hear right now, there's an airplane going over. So if you hear that, I'm sorry, but we have an airplane flying over. Perks is a little bit by an airport. And then we're just going to go ahead and just cut them out. I always start from the bottom up, and you can just do it to your best. I'm not going to do this one perfect, so I'm just going to go ahead and just... You just see I missed a bit here. So you want to just make sure you kind of get close to the space. And if you do a curve, um like this here and you want to like hide this line here hold control and just bring it down to your best because if we have a curve and sometimes you want to do another point it's gonna make a little wisp of some sort so I just do that like this here if I want to go here it's gonna make an outer one so you want to just hold control click this and drag it up to the best without you know having too much issues and then you can just add on to like that And you're just gonna finish up this cutout, and then you just wanna attach it here. And we have something like this here. And you can exit out, and we have this here. Now I wanna drag in this offset a bit, so you're just gonna go ahead and just do like so. And you wanna go to your video. You wanna go to transitions. You wanna do new blue, three E, three D bouncing cubes. If you don't have this plugin, um, I'm sorry. Um, I might find another way to do it without the plugin, and I'm gonna experiment that. Maybe make another video. Um, but we're just gonna click come coming at ya and drag it down, and it's gonna bring in this little bouncy effect like so. And then we have that. Now you want to add like maybe a text. So I'm gonna add insert a new video track on top. I'm gonna go ahead and just drag this one here, and just go to where that one pops off right there want to drag it in like so and then you want to just right click match output setting and you want to just drag it out to make it small and you can move it to however you want and drag it out more just to make it smaller and I might make the background to match the text or it actually looks fine like that and then you can add your coloring after you're done so you can go ahead and to appear and I'm just gonna go ahead and do final call maybe or which one did I have before? Eye candy. Yeah. And then you have this here. And so you kinda of muted out my orange um orange effect so I might just change it to like maybe a redder tone to make it pop more like so. And then what you're going to do is you're just going to render it. And you're done. I hope you guys liked this tutorial. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you have any requests, leave them in the comment box below. And I'll do my best to get those for you guys. Once again, I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. And see you guys next time. Bye, guys.